follow the road for four miles. All right, good morning everybody. Uh, we do have some audio here. This is Route 5. That is the, uh, the Steelworks Industrial Park. And uh, we do have an active fire there. That is a plume that can be seen very easily from downtown. 
on. As a matter of fact, the top of the plume extending all the way up into the clouds. It uh, looks like traffic on Route 5 uh, was being stopped in one direction. I'm actually surprised that uh, it is now being allowed to flow, although it does look like uh, there's some authorities on the scene maybe restricting uh, some tra traffic there. But uh, we're probably about two football directions from this. Uh, the wind is northerly right now, so we are looking southbound on Route 5, and that is uh, sending that plume uh, towards Lake Avenue. And uh, this is uh, just billowing up into the air. I'm not sure how this translates to the small screen, but in person, uh, it, it is absolutely huge. Top of the building, you can see the uh, the reddish glow. There is uh, definitely flame with uh, inside that building extending uh, almost to the, the rooftop there. Uh, not sure what the nature of the fire is yet. That information, I'm sure, is going to be something that, uh, that will come out later. This is a, a fairly fresh, active scene. I would say that this has been occurring for less than 15 minutes, uh, the time that it took us to get there. A lot of first responders coming in now. I can see uh, another half a dozen uh, vehicles coming in. These do look like uh, probably uh, uh, there's some more flames. Wow, the flames have really uh, just a major up to wow a, a ball a ball of fire there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, is now, now sparks being sent out over the road. I'm surprised that traffic is still uh, uh, still allowed to go. Um, you know, the safety of the individuals. Uh, it does look like uh, traffic is about now, uh, just uh, behind me. I don't know how long uh, I'll be allowed to stay in this position, but we'll hold our spot as long as we can. Probably safer here than actually running past. Um, th again, this is very active. We just saw a fireball burst into the sky, mm -hmm. uh, continuing to send those uh, those, those plumes up. The fireball is still within that dark cloud, uh, continuing to go. Again, don't know the source of this fire. Uh, we are on Route 5. We're looking southbound, and uh, and that is an active uh, active flame environment there, I guess you'd call it. That is the Steelworks Industrial Park, and uh, and the authorities are, are on the scene now. I'm not sure if they're going to start uh, blocking traffic or or if they're going to continue to allow people to, to drive by this, but uh, this is certainly uh, a huge, huge fire. Uh, no word on how many... Uh, how many fire hose companies are coming out or what the nature of the of the fire is at this point but what I can tell you is that uh, the plumes the smoke has not stopped and uh, and this is just a huge huge plume of black smoke just rolling uh, rolling up into the sky as that uh, that fi that fire continues to burn there here's another looks like another burst of flame uh, nearly through the roof of that building. I'm not sure what is on the other side of that building. I know it is a industrial park, but uh, this is just an enormous plume that can be seen from downtown. It extends well up into the clouds uh, from a distance on the skyway. Uh, it, it was absolutely stunning, that view. And then up close, uh, honestly, it, if I didn't tell you it was uh, enough to weaken the knees at something that large. There's the flames on the on the roof of the building now, a little bit more consistently. Um, not knowing what's in there, uh, uh, you know, this could be an explosive situation. I hesitate to speculate, but it, it does appear that those flames uh, have expanded now and include much of the uh, the upper portion of that structure. I don't know uh, the other side of that structure if there's additional buildings involved uh, but you can certainly see that this is far from being done uh, there's enough heat generated there that this is this is creating its own if you look at the right hand side just past uh, the uh, the police officer if you follow down route 5 uh, visually this is creating it, it, its own atmospheric environment as the, as the, uh, the heat rises and continues to billow straight up into the sky now uh, fortunately here there are residents that live you can see the houses on the left hand side of the green uh, they live within uh, 50 yards of that building and right now the northerly wind that is pushing whatever potentially hazardous emissions are coming out of that is being 
being pushed southward. So you see uh, here and and maybe Ridge or Lake Avenue, uh, there is definitely going to be some fallout from this. Uh, and, and obviously, it may be, you know, difficulty breathing. Recommendations there, obviously, would be stay inside, seal off what you can. Uh, that is some thick, thick smoke. Obviously, uh, you, you can't even see through that smoke at this point. Uh, tons of comments on here. That's Bethlehem Steel, Jen. I'll try to take a few of these. Um, I wouldn't say Bethlehem, but it's the, uh, the, uh, the sign on the building is the Steelworks Industrial Park. Uh, it does say space available, could be an old sign, um, but, uh, but that is definitely the structure that is, uh, that is, uh, that's enveloped there. Uh, I do not see additional uh, fire crews coming to this location. I'm not sure how many are there. I did see a few um, what I would call supervisor trucks, but uh, I have not seen any additional uh, vehicles come in there. Yes, this is uh, Cameron. This is uh, in, uh, I guess you'd call this uh, Lackawanna just to the south of Buffalo. Yeah, you can, I bet, Kelly, you can see this from West Seneca, no doubt about it. Uh, probably uh, one of the largest uh, plumes uh, I've ever seen. That extends uh, well up in the sky. Uh, I do hear more sirens now. Uh, I can't tell which direction they're coming from, but my guess is that officer is going to go try to make a hole and clear a path. Uh, for these people, we're starting to see uh, some clogging on the roads. Here come a couple more uh, uh, emergency units. I can't tell exactly what type of vehicle they're approaching from the south, so they're going to take that entrance there. Uh, again, you can still see the flames kind of ripple along the top of the building uh, from time to time, but this is, uh, without a doubt, uh, still an active situation uh, with the flames visible near the roof. Here comes, uh, has got to be an emergency vehicle. Okay, here comes, they're coming past here at any moment. This looks like we've got a lab truck rolling in. Uh, this didn't catch the district coming past, but, uh, there goes a ladder truck on its way to the situation. It does look like they must be clearing the road now. They've got to start uh, stopping traffic. Looks like southbound traffic may have been restricted. The cars starting to lighten up, uh, maybe diverting folks around this. Uh, again, no, uh, no, uh, no sign of what maybe started this. I haven't seen anything. I'm just kind of monitoring what uh, what's in front of me here. Uh, an absolutely tremendous cloud plume that uh, with and, and now just in the last couple minutes here, the wind has lightened up, so that has allowed that plume to go uh, almost completely vertical over top of that, over top of that building, uh, where it was initially being pushed uh, from north to south. That plume is now standing straight up. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's, it's going up high enough. Uh, it, it almost takes a volcanic look to it as it enters some of the low cloud that's hanging over Geary. Uh, juxtaposition here, here's a bus picking up kids for school. Uh, you know, in front of this uh, this very active situation. Uh, again, the emissions here would be one of the uh, one of the issues. It goes off into the distance, uh, as far as the eye can see, as far as uh, is the extent of that plume. But wow, th this is uh, going to be uh, when, when the when the result of this comes in. There's ob the damage is going to be is obvious, but. Uh, uh, there's some, uh, some more additional emergency vehicles coming in. Uh, it looks like there's uh, allowing uh, traffic to go from north to south, but I haven't seen any headlights. Uh, they may be diverting traffic at this point. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of news channels rolled up probably in the last couple of minutes. There's some flame on the top. It looks like a portion of the structure has now uh, actually caught fire. Um, or, or the flames are at least uh, blowing through a portion of the, uh, one of the... Those might be vent on the roof. I'm not sure what that structure did in the past. Here comes another truck. Uh, this guy looks like that's a Lackawanna fire truck, maybe a pumper rolling in there. Um, you know, at this point, they, they have restricted uh, traffic on the northbound section of Route 5. I'm not sure where they're diverting them. Uh, my guess is somewhere back. Uh, down along um, uh, Ridge Road. Um, uh, yeah, who knows how long this is going to burn. Again, not knowing the nature of what uh, is in that building, what is on fire. Uh, this is definitely something that is uh, 
you know, obviously, uh, when the building itself, you have a metal building, uh, which is now engulfed. Here comes more. It, this sounds like multiple, multiple vehicles about to pass me here. Um, here comes another one. This is another ladder truck. That one is a Buffalo Fire Department uh, rolling by. That's a second ladder truck uh, from BFD. Uh, now you can see, I'm going to try to zoom this in a little bit. Um, let's see if this will do this. Doesn't appear to be taking that, but uh, there are three vents on the top that are now uh, showing flame surrounding them. And, uh, and here comes another emergency vehicle on the left-hand side. A lot of these are coming out of the city of Buffalo. I haven't seen that many uh, come from the south. There goes a, a battalion chief rolling in. He's leading uh, another vehicle here. We're gonna see, here comes another, uh, looks like another pumper truck possibly. Uh, men and equipment all coming in uh, to this location. You've got some media in front of me. Uh, you, we're gonna see uh, another police officer here roll past. Uh, they're maybe uh, thinking about clearing the scene here, but certainly a, a tremendous view. I'm happy to share it with you as long as they'll allow me to stay here and, and be safe with you. Uh, black skies in Depew. Uh, that's interesting because uh, this is definitely being blown to the south. And um, I mean, to, to give you the care, I mean, charcoal, charcoal gray, uh, you know, almost black at times. And, uh, and, and this is just an absolute mess. Uh, I may be asked to move on. Well, no, he's just moving out of the way. Uh, looks like we have another vehicle coming in here. You can actually see there goes another one from BFD, an uh, another ladder truck, a, uh, another pumper coming in. Um, they're probably rolling all hands on deck for this. Um, you, you can just absolutely see the, uh, at times, as dark and charcoal as it is, there's a, a, an orange glow. So there's there must be huge flames in there to illuminate uh, to illuminate that cloud as dark as it is uh, there goes another division chief arriving so you've got a lot of, uh, of fire brain power coming in here to organize what is going to be an extremely large uh, crew to try to tame this fire uh, whatever may be causing that, uh, uh, that that fire to continue you can see the roof of the building still aglow I would not say that that has expanded but um, uh, it has uh, continued to burn on the roof of the building. It does look like a sheet metal roof. The building itself uh, looks to be uh, concrete and steel at this point. Again, so there must be some substance uh, that is burning in there. Uh, I feel say I feel uh, um, the the folks that are uh, in these houses very close to this building uh, that is a fire. I see some folks that are out front looking at it. Uh, they're I don't know if you can in the distance there may be uh, less than a football field length away from what's in there i've not heard any explosions up to this point but it has been consistent blowing of black smoke uh, out of this situation um you know what? i can't phase off i just got the thumbs up from uh uh that i can that i'm able to stay here and do this for you um yeah again uh, don't know what's in there uh, there's going to be a lot of folks uh, going in there to try to put this thing out, but the scale of that, it, the enormity uh, of just the cloud. Uh, I mean, that building itself is not not a small structure. You see the houses next to it. Um, it looks like at least one, two, three, and then uh, three three stories. Throw a peak roof on there. Um, obviously, it's an industrial park. I know on the other side of that, there's additional buildings. Um, that's the first medic vehicle. I have not seen any ambulances. Uh, approach or go away so uh, you know we have that to that to keep an eye on it uh, no one's been rushed from the scene uh, they have now shut down traffic uh, totally on route 5 I'm within the the boundary of where they've shut down traffic and this just continues uh, to be an active scene we have more more sirens coming in now and uh, that'll be the case I'm sure until this uh, it comes under control the flames along the top of the roof continue um, to kind of spread towards the center of the building, we saw uh, a, a huge plume of fire uh, engulf the, the right-hand top of the building, and uh, subsequently some of those flames have spread down the length of the building. The roof appears to be uh, changing shade of gray. 
uh, you know, whether that's from material uh, being deposited on it or, or the fact that the heat is changing it, um, the, the, uh, the cloud is actually now to the left of the building as well. It's unclear if material in the building is what went or if there's something on the other side of the building exposed out in the open uh, that is causing this and the building is maybe on the periphery of it. So there, there's a few uh, questions that would need to be answered, but uh, you won't be able to do that unless you uh, take a view that might be on the other side. And right now that would not be advisable given the wind direction. Uh, you know, you can see the spin of that that cloud plume literally with, it's gotta be an intense heat to force that type of movement of the air. Uh, you know, small vortexes and plumes being uh, shoved up there. There's absolutely uh, an active fire environment there. This is not something that's going out. Take a look at that roll of the of that latest of that latest plume. I'm gonna go and do this for you. Maybe that'll uh, clear it up just a little bit. And uh, enormous uh, black cloud uh, continuing this plume. Oh, oh my. Uh, maybe they've, you know, at this point, you know, maybe the you know, water uh, is now changing the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, change. this is just, uh, huge black plume. Uh, you see some other news media in front of me, uh, probably about, uh, 25 yards, but, uh, just an amazingly dark cloud now and and I would assume some of that uh, is from uh, the uh, the emergency responders you know treating at least a, a portion of that uh, let's see if this will allow a uh, I'd, I'd love to get you a closer view but uh, I mean that is you can see with with each small change in wind direction uh, that plume which was which was going more of a, uh, a due south is now Kind of uh, interacting with uh, with some of these northerly winds and and being uh, pushed a little closer to the lake and as as the winds relax out of the north that uh, that plume can change uh, change its form sometimes standing straight up sometimes looking like it's going to interact with with, uh, with Route Five and again now the uh, traffic and uh, there's no longer either northbound or southbound uh, traffic in this situation and. Uh, and this is going to be something that uh, is obviously not even close to uh, being handled. Uh, it does look like we're seeing a lot more white smoke or lighter gray uh, exhaust air, and that would be uh, give, uh, some, uh, some treatment material. There's still flames on the top of the building that uh, uh, no sign that there's any um, water being applied. There was another flame up of one of the... Um, uh, what you'd call maybe an exhaust or a vent on the roof that is completely caught on uh, caught on fire now. Uh, no sign of any water being uh, applied to that or any other fire suppressing material. Barely holding above the uh, the road. Uh, the the curl uh, looks to be maybe 50 feet above, and it, uh, uh, there's a second uh, a second vent has now uh, now caught fire. Uh, those are metal metal vents on top of the roof of the building and, and those are now now on fire as well uh yes uh again for folks that are uh, just tuning in right now we are on route five uh the sign at building says steelworks industrial park it is near the old bethlehem steel plant uh there were a number of 